Happy New Year, my lovelies. It's your girl, Locked in Lettos. Welcome to 2023 and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Always like, comment, and share because I absolutely love to hear from you. If you did not know, I am in this for the love of all things beauty and beautiful. And you guys have been asking me, asking me. I figured I'd start the new year off right and you guys have been asking me in the comments um, on previous videos, girl, what is your morning skincare routine? Like, what is what do you do in the morning? I've shared what I do in the evening when I do my makeup removal and the whole nine yards, but I've never shared what I do in the morning, how I get ready for the day. So if you are interested in my daytime skincare routine, stay tuned. I'm coming on. I'm, I'm putting it out there all, all raw. So I got, as you see, I got the cold in my eye because somebody keep asking me about my my morning routine, right? What's my morning skincare routine? So my morning skincare routine, you see, I got I got the cold in my eye. I got my, my voice still sound like I smoke 10 packs a day, but it's whatever. I'm about to share with y'all because my morning skincare routine is crazy straightforward. So my morning skincare routine consists of um, a washcloth that's exfoliating. So it has an exfoliating um it's an exfoliating side. I got it from Clean Logic on Amazon. Um, I'll put the link to my Amazon um, favorites in the description. But then I also go with my Lancome Genifique, some moisturizer, and um, some black girl sunscreen spf 45 because i'm about to go on a walk so that's my morning routine it's crazy straightforward so let's get into this so you know me your, your girl is here i got the warm water i take my my cloth hold on let me get down here so i'm gonna take my cloth and i'm literally gonna and this is specifically for my face. So I do have a cloth, a washcloth specifically for my face. And instead of trying to rub the coal out my eye because, you know, that's bad. And you end up tugging it on your skin. I just get in here with the cloth and literally, hold on. literally just wipe, wipe my face down. Now I went in, before I went to bed, I removed my makeup and I followed up with a vitamin C serum and a um, and moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go over my whole face. Once my whole face is wet, wet, and I've allowed the the water to sit on my face for a couple of seconds, I go in with the exfoliating side of the cloth. And I make sure I get these areas where you're prone to have build up around the nose area. And just manually exfoliate my entire face. I 
I also focus because I wear a significant amount of eye makeup. I do focus on my lashes just to make sure my my lash line is clean and to make sure that I don't have any residue from mascara or um, actually lash glue. Once I've gone over my face with the exfoliating side again, I turn this back over. Bring that washcloth out really good. And I just go back over my face when I, as I'm turning off the water. Go back over my face. I do spend some time on my lips. And there we have it. I did have to blow my nose off camera because, um, you know, you only need to see all of that. Y'all already got to see the cold in my eye. You ain't get to see you know, all the blow in the nose and everything. So anyway, while my face is still damp, I go in with my Lancome Genifique Serum. I honestly have no idea if this is working and this serum is a million dollars. Like it's a hundred and hundred and ten dollars, a hundred and seventy dollars, but they got me. I use it to stave off, stave off the signs of aging. I don't feel like I look any older since I've been using it. So we're gonna run with that. And I just go in with the serum all over my face. I concentrate around my eye area and then I spend some time on my forehead area. You know, I don't want no forehead wrinkles as we're trying to get away from the forehead, trying to stave off the forehead wrinkles. Okay. And then there we go. And I'm going to follow that up with some moisturizer. Now, I am going for a walk. I'm about to go exercise. I am really actually going to sweat. So I probably normally wouldn't use the Genifique if I was going for a walk. I would literally just wash my face and put on the sunblock and go outside and go for a walk. Because then I would come back and wash my face in the shower. But since I'm showing y'all my morning routine... I'm going to go in with some, this is um, moisturizer from Face Theory. Um, I've used it for the past few months. I don't dislike it. I don't love it. <clears throat> so I'm still looking for a good moisturizer. I mean, it, it works. It does the job. Um, but I am still looking for a moisturizer um, that I absolutely love. So... There's that. I got some moisturizer out. And I'm not putting on a whole lot of moisturizer just because I'm actually, like I said, going for a walk. But I will go in and moisturize. You see, I let my, my serum sit for a few moments, usually up to about a minute. You can layer your serums. I don't because my face doesn't absorb much of anything. I think that's the secret to my to my skin is that my, my face does not absorb anything. Like it's so hard to get anything to sink into my face. I think I have a, a shield of of whatever on my face and it just stays the way it is. So anyway, I've got moisturizer on and I feel like I have a little glow, right? I feel like I'm a little glowy and that's how I feel like if my moisturizer is doing a good job, I have a little glow about me. So I got a little glow, you know, my skin is looking nice and nice and plump, you know. I do always, um, pardon me, I do always use um, a chapstick with an SPF, especially if I'm going outside. Um, I, I'm a fan of chapstick because usually I don't have, if I don't have a lipstick, I have a chapstick. I am not like a lip gloss or, you know, people use whatever cream. I, I use chapstick, so... You know, I go in with my SPF 15 on my lips. 
And because I am going for a walk, I'm going to go in with my SPF 45 Make It Matte. I'm looking for a, my moisturizer used to have sunscreen in it. This moisturizer does not have sunscreen in it. So I always follow up with a sunscreen. Usually I use a daytime moisturizer with a sunscreen that, you know, so I don't have to put an extra layer of something on my face. Um, FYI, the Make It Matte does kind of separate. And one day, the first day I got it, I used it without shaking it up really good. And I ended up with just oil on my face. I don't even think that it's unblocked anything. I just, I was cooking my face because it was just, uh, you know, squirted out and it's just oil. But anyway, we've got that all well shaken. It comes out in a gel. And I'm just going to go in and apply that especially in the areas like my cheekbones, my nose, and my forehead, because those are the high, those areas that you highlight, and those areas where you want to sublock. Okay. And now that I have my sunscreen on, I am going for a 